right, good evening, Pisces. Happy Sunday. Welcome to your full moon and Aquarius message. Um, we're using the Moonology deck for this full moon reading. And we're also using the Crystal Angels Oracle cards. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, right? Um, yeah. This is a general reading. So let's see what this full moon in Aquarius has for my Pisces. What is the full moon in Aquarius message for Pisces? Ooh. Um, step outside of your comfort zone. This is North Node. Full moon in Aquarius. Ooh, what else blew out? We have your commitment is being tested. A lot of um through uh third eye and a lot of um third eye and um crown chakra energy for Pisces, which makes sense. You guys are like you know Pisces. <laughs> um ooh. and we have conclusions are within reach full moon eclipse. And then we have for you guys, um, the answers you need are coming, full moon and Gemini, and have faith in your dreams. And what's, oh, a time for healing. And then here you are, not too, not too many cards behind, full moon and Pisces, balance, spirituality, and practicality. Um, conclusions are within reach. Pisces, so I feel like if some things haven't been um, made clear really for you guys, and I, I feel like sometimes as intuitive as you guys are, Pisces, I do feel like sometimes you guys struggle with your intuition. Um, you guys are the last sign of the Zodiac, and unfortunately, you guys kind of get a little bit of everybody else, right? A little bit of everything. Um, excuse me. So I feel like that can make it hard to kind of... Um, it can, you know, especially you guys pick up on your environments very easily. So I feel like sometimes it can be hard for you guys. Oh, shit. I just split the deck and I got the moonstone. Heightened intuition. Be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it is trustworthy. And then we got to be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. Um... I feel like because you guys get all of, like, you, you know, all that stimuli from your environment and just other people and their stuff, I do feel like um, it can be hard for you guys to know what's yours and what's isn't, right? And I feel like this full moon in Aquarius is going to help you realize what's yours and what's not, Like, right? So we have the full moon and gemini here at the bottom deck the answers you need are coming again there's going to be a lot of clarity for you guys Pisces. a lot of conclusions a lot of things um that feel like they're taking a long time to clear up they're taking a long time to end or begin and you know things certain things have to end in order for other things to begin so and I think it's going to require you guys to step out on faith, right? Step outside your comfort zone. And maybe for some of you, the what needs to happen is you guys need to... You guys are a mutable sign. So I feel like you guys need to get more clear about your direction and how you're deciding to get there. And that may be something that's uncomfortable for you because you guys kind of swim with the currents. You guys kind of let the currents of life just take you where, you know, wherever. And I feel like this full moon in Aquarius is asking you to kind of like step into your own authenticity, step into your own choice, step into your own vivers and your own direction instead of just following the ones of the people around you. You don't have to do what everybody else around you is doing. That may not work for you. Um... Look at your North Node also, Pisces. I feel like for this full moon in Aquarius, you are being asked to... And this full moon happened yesterday. just happened. So what we have until like, what, Tuesday, Wednesday, really, for the energy to be the most potent. Um, so write, you know, write down what your intentions that you're intending to release on a paper. Write it in um, 
glue or black ink and burn it. Make sure the paper fully burns. What else? So, oh yeah, so your full moon and Aquarius message, Pisces, is releasing um releasing the releasing the go with the flow thing you know releasing that need to just i'm not gonna say you guys solely trust your intuition i just feel like you guys are a bit passive when it comes to life choices so i want you guys to focus on releasing anything that prevents you from being more active and taking taking more initiative in your life so that way you guys don't feel like you're in the shadows of everybody else you don't have to you know let's see i'm yeah, i'm a little confused with this reading honestly out of all the readings um for me an aquarius message to pisces but you guys can with the answers you need are coming you guys could be feeling confused about a few things yourself so anything that you're not sure about, it's you'll get the clarity you need. Um, yeah, step outside your comfort zone. We have watermelon tourmaline, stress reduction. De-stress your mind, body, and schedule as you need to rest, recharge, and revive. Yes. Hmm. Um, for me, I feel like for some of you, not all of you, I feel like for some of you, you guys are workaholics. All you do is work. And I feel like that's your comfort zone. This full moon in Aquarius is asking you to step outside your comfort zone for the need to, um, look, your commitment is being tested. We have make time for self-care. Taking care of yourself is essential right now. Um, full moon in Aquarius for Pisces. I feel like um, a lot of you use work as a way to escape and just as that's just your comfort zone. You guys don't really um, have that awareness. Rose quartz, smoky quartz, love life and clearing negativity. Yeah, some of you will be concluding some type of dynamics with others romantically too. And if you guys wasn't sure whether to do it, it's gonna be done for you. Your commitment is being tested. Ceremonies and celebrations. It's a time of important life passages such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, or anniversaries. I feel like with this commitment is being... We have... Aquamarine, divine life purpose. Trust the signs and your inner guidance, which are leading you to fulfillment. And then we have um, heightened intuition. Be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it is trustworthy. Again, this came up again. And then the card under it is fluorite, natural beauty and authenticity. Be yourself as God made you naturally attractive and lovable inside and out. That with the authenticity coincides with the step outside your comfort zone um, and be yourself. So with your heightened intuition and the answers you need are coming. I feel like whatever it is that you guys have been confused about, if you feel like you've been left out in the dark, you know, you guys do represent the moon card and tarot, which the moon card talks about things that are unseen, things are in the subconscious, things that are hidden right things that are being kept in the dark um i feel like we feel like you've been kept in the dark about something um this full moon in aquarius will be re will be revealing a lot of answers a lot of truth and maybe some things you don't want to know and maybe some things you want to know you need to know and just maybe some things that you're gonna be like damn i wish i didn't know that and it may be things about people maybe things about yourself um your life your relationships, um, just your dynamics of, amongst other people, um, with the commit, your, with the your commitment, with your commitment is being tested, and ceremonies and celebrations. I feel like your commitment to yourself and your purpose is being tested during this time. So if you guys are feeling like a lot of you guys are questioning, like 
what you need, like what you should be doing in life. Um, you know, if you, if you should move, if you should leave this person, if you should leave this job, if you should separate from this, separate from that. You know, if you should take this trip, if you should invest in this, invest in that. I feel like. You know, it's we all want, we all want, um, we all want things to celebrate, things to make us happy. But a lot of times, if we're not doing the work, it's gonna really, it's hard for that to come about. So, like with these ceremonies and celebrations, and it is a time of important life passages. It's not always about the weddings, the birthdays, the graduations, or anniversaries, as the card states. But sometimes the life passage is you. It's your commitment to your goals, your commitment to your health, your commitment to your mindset, your commitment to your family, your commitment to yourself, Pisces. I feel like for this full moon in Aquarius, I want you guys to release anything that prevents you from committing to yourself. Okay? And if you guys are having any issues with your life purpose, you know, it's, oh shit, I didn't even realize this emerald and this aquamarine, they're facing each other and they both have wings. They're both facing each other. I didn't even really realize that. Wow. Um, yeah, I feel like um, if you're confused about like your divine life purpose, you know, I, I feel like your guys have been trying to talk to you guys. I feel like you have like there have been messages and signs that have been trying to um, that have been trying to get your attention to lead you to this fulfillment. But you guys have been so caught up with everything else around you and this is not really the time like if you guys are feeling the need to escape or take a break you may want to look at your reality and focus on where you can stress reduct you know where can you um where can you make like where can you make your life less stressful you know how can you ease up your schedule how can you get more help if you need it how can you recharge more without having to escape because the constant need to escape and to you know seek out other ways of dealing with reality is going to keep setting you back and it's going to keep in you in this rough waters that you don't want to be in this rough waters that make it hard for you to see right you know make it hard for you to see that intuition and see the signs so it, you know take a look at your reality and look at what can be reduced what roles what responsibilities can you maybe um delegate to other people around you so you're not doing everything yourself um, but your commitment to yourself is being tested. Yeah, your conclusions are within reach and divine life purpose. Everybody has a divine life purpose. The thing is, it's whether or not you choose to do the work, right? The inner work, the self work to tap into that. You know, so, and the, your divine purpose doesn't just you know, you don't just wake up and, you know, it's the path is made for you. You kind of have to pave the path. You have to pave the way for yourself by doing it in the work. OK, so I would say Pisces, um, this full, full moon in Aquarius focus on stress reduction and releasing anything that prevents you from committing to yourself. Release distractions. If you if you have if you don't if you. If it means not going out with friends, if it means working less, if it means going to the spa more, you know, if it means just, you know, just getting a planner and knowing like where to put things, I feel like that'd be really um, good use for you. And with the answers you need are coming in heightened intuition, just know whatever you are unsure about and uncertain about, you will, this full moon in Aquarius will reveal what it is you need to see. It may not be what you like, it may be, but um, whatever it is, it's going to direct you towards where you need to be and where you're meant to be. So, you know, um, don't, you know, don't stress and don't, um, yeah, have faith in your dreams. Yeah, it's time for healing. Um, don't get so um, caught up and what's revealed get focused more on how you can use it to your advantage and sometimes it may not be things that are revealed about other people it could be things revealed about yourself it could be it could be not but you'll know better than me um and i hope this helps and i'll see you guys next time bye